Wow, I think I missed the eating of the head entirely. I was gonna, I was just gonna, uh, there it is there still. Just a little bit. Apologize for the distortion of the glass. It's quite annoying. And my shaky hands, it's also quite annoying. But, uh, anyway, this is after getting a new battery. Part two of Mantis eating the hissing cockroach. The cockroach is still moving a little bit. Significantly less since his head has been bitten off and eaten. There's now nothing left of the head. Which is pretty awesome. I was just going to put him back, but then I saw the uh, head was being eaten, so I decided to go get the uh, new battery, but now it's gone. Now the head's gone already. So, um, anyway, as I was saying in the other video, I'm uh, contemplating, get, oh, look at that, he was just like, oh, I'm not going to eat that part. Oh, wow, he's still moving, he's still moving. Head's gone, and he's still moving. Wow. I think um, cockroaches can survive like a month or something without their head, and the only way, reason that they die is that they dehydrate and or I think they dehydrate before they starve but um, anyway it's pretty amazing that they, I mean it would probably run around too without its head that's crazy um, but anyways as I was saying in part one the uh, I'm thinking of getting the Texas unicorn mantis and a couple of them setting up some breeding pairs or whatever maybe a trio I don't know I guess you kinda need a pair but um... Can't, I mean you can't get two females and a male but male probably only lasts for one I guess I could get two males and one female but if one male didn't do the trick the other one would I guess I don't know but uh, they're ten dollars a piece, so I might I might just stick to two pairs or just one pair. I don't know. Anyway, as I was saying before, the battery cut me off from dying. Was uh, I was going to get them from Bugs in Cyberspace at, at you know bugsincyberspace.com. Peter Clausen. Um, I'll probably put a link in the uh, description there for him. And uh, he's an awesome guy. He's really nice. Uh, helps me out all the time. He's, if you're into this kind of stuff, he's a guy you want to know. Um, he's always getting new things and getting into new species. And look at that leg; it's still moving in his mouth. That's crazy. Um, anyway, he's a really cool guy. Really nice. And. Uh, He's got more stock than most people, so um, if somebody's got it, he's probably got it. So I think he has actually like 45 different species of cockroaches, which I don't know anyone else who has that many species of cockroach. So not that they're all in stock, but he has them at one point or another. Carries them. So, I don't know what kind of species this mantis is, but, um, they're common out here in South Jersey. But, uh, back to Peter Claus, and he's got, he just today got a whole bunch of different species of mantis, so. I don't know if you can see that, I can't zoom in anymore, but on his eye, he looks like he has some, a spot on his right eye, so the left, when you're looking, there's kind of a spot on it. But it's not on the other eye, and I don't know what that is. And, um, also with the eyes being black, I don't know if they're supposed to be black. Um, all the mantises I've ever seen have had green eyes. 
and they have kind of a little, I guess, what would be the uh, optic nerve, which you, or the blind spot, you can kind of see it. I don't know if that's what it is, but it's like a spot that always seems to be in the same space place. A little dark dot. And uh, I know when I was a little kid, I used to think that was their pupil, and they were always looking out of the side of their eye or something. They kept your, their pupils on you, and, but I, I know that's not really how it is. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've never seen I've never seen one with black eyes like this. So if anyone else knows anything more, if he's if there's something wrong with him, because I do see that spot. I don't know what color it is. I feel like it's red, but maybe it's green. I don't know. Um, being colorblind, it's hard to tell. But if anyone knows any more than I do, please feel free to comment and message me or whatever. So, but uh, anyway, pretty cool, pretty awesome. Here's a size comparison. My hand is about mm, eight or nine inches long, and so that's like three and a half, four inches. Pretty cool.